What's pop locking and dropping YouTube? It's your boy GI Joe here, and today I'm bringing you some Battlefront beta gameplay footage. So this game is coming out fairly soon. It's within the next couple of months. It'll be out and in our hands. And I gotta say, playing it was pretty amazing. The graphics blew me away. The gameplay was awesome, and the fact that you can play as your favorite heroes or villains just made it ten times better. So in this game, the beta, we had two different types of game modes. There was Drop Zone and Walker Soul. The first game mode is here, it's Drop Zone, and it's basically capture the bases and uh, kill enemies. So like any Battlefield style, it's got that kind of graphics to it, but this is definitely really crisp. I'm loving the way that they made it. The fact that they brought the lore of Star Wars into this game and made it look so realistic is amazing to me. So basically in this drop zone mode, is it's just capture the bases. You can either be a rebel or an imperial. And you get to choose which weapons you want in the beginning as well as critique them and change them after the game is over. So there are two different setups you can have preset as well as using your partner's preset. If you're in a group, you can use each other's presets. If they have a jetpack and you haven't unlocked it yet, you can click on theirs and use it yourself. But I, was, I wasn't I was a big fan of the drop zone. It was a little bit too slow paced for me. And the walker assault was more my speed. So I just wanted to come on here and get a few kills, which you can see right here. I did a few times, but I wasn't too great at it. And I definitely need some more practice. So next we're going to show you the upgrading and different cards you can use. So obviously the more you play, the more stuff you unlock. There are different cards you can use as you see, which will be your setup. There are three different things you can choose. Three different sections, not things. You have a bunch of things you can choose. So as you can see, I chose the thermal detonator. And that will be either be on the left or right, which will be, I think, LB or RB. So you can also choose the cyc cycle rifle or whatever. That's the sniper. They have a whole bunch of stuff, jetpacks, shields, and stuff like that, but I had not unlocked yet. And here you see the different assault rifles and weapons that you can use there. So right here is where you'll be presetting your character, and then you just click on it you make sure you preset it before you go into the game because if you don't do that you will not have a choice to do it while the game is going so now I'm gonna show you Walker Assault this was definitely my favorite but it could be seriously one-sided for the Imperials if your team is not doing what they're supposed to be doing and just killing people you're definitely not gonna win as you can see these satellites are what you needed to capture so the y wings can go ahead and bomb the at -ATs. So another thing that's awesome as you can see right there is I picked up a X-Wing and there'll be different drops like that throughout the map for different stuff, dome shields, uh, thermal imploder, something like that, different ships for either the rebels or the imperials. And I like that it was fairly easy to fly as you can see it was kind of wild but compared to Battlefield it is a lot easier. I just didn't know what I was doing, but it was fun. You gotta make sure you're locking on when you're shooting. I was not doing that, and I quickly got shot down out of the air. And uh, now I'm gonna give you a glimpse into the heroes. As I said, there are different things you can pick up on the field, and one of those is a hero unlock, which is basically you play as Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Princess Leia, the Sith Lord, and all that stuff. So I got to play them a few times, and it was awesome. And that's about it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you didn't, do the opposite. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Well, you managed to make it this far, so that means you probably enjoyed that last video. And if you did, maybe you'll enjoy this video as well. And while you're at it, go ahead and stop by my channel. There's a bunch more content of a whole bunch of different things. We do unboxings, game content, reviews, all sorts of stuff. So maybe you'll enjoy that as well. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.